which battle for Winterfell has been confirmed by a bunch of leaked photos during the past few months. For the final season, the production has made for the very first time an actual battlements and outer walls that were in previous seasons added in with CGI. HBO also laid down white tarps all over the place in preparation for a fake snow. If there was not going to be any battle scene filmed in the Winterfell set, the production would not have to bother with building actual walls with which main characters and extras interacted with, neither would they have to have fake snow on set unless real people were going to march over it. Basically, they've overhauled the set this year, building physical battlements and towers that used to be added in with CGI. In my previous videos I explained this was done in preparation for a big battle scenes as you don't build physical structures unless you plan to have actors interact on them. Long story short, I said Jon Snow and almost the entire living side will face 100,000 strong army of the dead in front of Winterfell and it's now been officially confirmed. There are photos in which we can see 200 plus armed extras fighting in huge battle. Some of those men are the unsolid wielding spear tipped with dragon glass, meaning they are clearly fighting against the army of the dead. Even though at first glance it might look more of a flame of Daenerys' dragons, it's actually a flame of Viserion. The Night King's dragon is burning down Winterfell at some point of the final season. Yes, his flame burns blue, but they color the flames in post-production. Winterfell is the ancestral home of House Stark and also where the whole Game of Thrones actually began, with Littlefinger effectively triggering the War of the Five Kings within its very grounds. Season 7 left off with Winterfell being ruled by Sansa alongside her siblings Arya and Bran. It's also the location where Danny, Jon and Jaime and pretty much every main character is heading at the end of the last season, leaving a big possibility that some of them might die in this huge battle for Winterfell. While some of you could argue with me saying it might be Euro and the Golden Company that are attacking Winterfell rather than the Night King, one is certain. The ancestral seat of House Stark will fall in the final season.